My name is Sveta Tota. I'm an associate professor at the Virginia Commonwealth University. It's in Richmond, Virginia in the United States. And I'm an anthropologist by training and my research is on Damascus. And so I did a project on the gentrification of the old city of Damascus back in the 2000s before the Civil War uh, started. And from that, several research projects emerged and so my, my current topic is Palestinian urban refugees in the old city of Damascus. And I, from that, I became interested in the Jewish quarter uh, and uh, understanding the history of Jews in the old city of Damascus, which brought me to this conference. That's always a tough question to ask. I guess I wanted to be a detective when I was younger and I didn't want to go to a police academy and the idea of guns was not appealing. And so being a researcher, being an ethnographer, uh, digging through archives for me became kind of detective work because you never know what you're going to find. In your research, you have a general question that you're asking, but once you get into your research, it takes you into so many different uh, um, paths. It's, it's exciting because I, I would have never thought I would be researching um, Jews of Damascus 10 years ago. And now I'm like fascinated with what I'm finding in the archives and, and um, in secondary literature as well. The fact that there is a Jewish family by the name of Tota, which is my surname, and that um, we're not related. <laughs> It was kind of like, oh, and it just showed how interconnected the peoples of the Middle East are. And, um, and it's something that you cannot imagine with the current political um, climate, that there was more movement, there was more interaction, and there was much more commonalities and similarities among people than there is today. Because it's fun and exciting. I think I tell a lot of stories uh, in my work because I'm an ethnographer. So I, I, I really want to get people's stories across and, and how, and because I'm interested in urban studies, I'm really interested in, in cities and, and how people relate cities. And so one of my favorite things I do is that I see how people build cities, but then how cities build people. And so it's fascinating to hear people tell stories about living um, in the old city of Damascus, living in a courtyard house, um, walking everywhere because you can't really drive in many of these alleys, and then see how it resonates with people outside of Syria. And especially, like, I write in English, so my readership is predominantly Western or Western educated. The thing is that most of the Jews of Damascus left in 1990. So when I was doing my research in the early 2000s, there was a handful of Jews. So they were kind of like almost not there. And, and for the most part, and this is something that Syria used to pride itself on, is that it, it, it's a country, it's a mosaic, right? Um, it's a country of so many different groups uh, of people of different backgrounds, um, religious and ethnic backgrounds, and that they all live together. You know, there's, there's, that's problematic. There, there's a lot more to this. But I think on a good day, um, people would say we're all Syrians. We are all neighbors. Um, and, and they would want to believe that. But, you know, stuff gets in the way.